on little things. Got it. Yay, we are good to go. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Healers Talk Mondays. My name is Anushka Alborzian. I'm an empowerment health coach and energy healer. Hello, this is Jacob Moya. And I'm also uh, an energy healer and a researcher of all things energy. Yes. We're very happy to have you all with us today. Absolutely. It's the last Monday of August. Blows my mind. I was thinking that earlier. I was like, wow, the summer yeah. fly. Today, we are talking about when to plan and when to follow your intuition. It's something that I've been personally exploring, thinking about, and really looking at the difference because I'm all about intuition, right? I'm all about following your intuition. And you can't just say, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna be spontaneous all the time and not have any plans because then how are you gonna move forward, right? So that's why I thought this would be a good topic. To yeah, for me, for me, you know, the way that I uh, see it is like, uh, you, you, you can have like a wish, you know, a desire, something that you want to live and experience. That is kind of like your North Star, right? That is your destination. That's what you want. Because if we go deeper, if, if we try to open up that uh, avenue, we'll see that uh, there's a reason why you want or desire something. And, um, and, and, and then it will kind of like start making sense for you. You know, uh, it's so much information that I'm trying to put it in, in, a, in a very simple terms, but they, I think that the easiest way for me to show or, or, or for me to explain this will be using you, of course, and your vulnerability <laughs> as, as an example. Because, because for example, you, you're working right now and, and, and have this very strong desire of becoming a mother, right? Mm -hmm. Well, but if we go deeper into that, uh, there's a reason, right? Because you're a public person and, and, and then we all know that you went through this health scare that uh, it, it was at one point even a dead scare, you know? And, and uh, so, so it was all about cutting your life and now you are all about experiencing life to the fullest. You go through all the different ranges of emotions, but very deep. I mean, when you're happy, you are very happy, you know? And when you're sad, you are very sad, you know? You, you go deep into that because those are the reasons for us to be alive, to be in the body, you know, to experience emotions at the physical level. So kind of like makes sense right that you go through all these different ranges right. and now for you to be able to create life it will be like 180 degrees of your of your initial experience you know it will be like like the, the opposite of it, you know they're taking my life and now i'm not only still here but i'm also creating life and persistent because at the biological level you creating something or someone it's 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 a source of a seed they will continue with your energy for generations, the same way that you are part of your mother, your grandmother, your great grandmother, and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so it totally makes sense. Now, if we are like simple mortals, you know, it's like I have this desire, I have this wish, but there's always a reason for the wish. So, so I'm all about yes, you know, honor your wishes and desires because there's a reason for it, you know? If you want to have like a man, you know, typically, I want the Ferrari, the Lamborghini, whatever it is, motorcycle, you know, whatever it is, you know? Mm -hmm. In reality, there's a reason behind, it, right? There's a reason why you need to have uh, uh, such an expensive toy, in uncomfortable toy, hard to maintain toy, polluting toy, <laughs> you know, in order for you to feel like, uh, you reach a level of you worth something, you know? And it's usually that. It's, it's, it's usually because you are coming from a lack, from a lacking situation, you know? So you need to prove to you and to others that you are right, that you transform, that you change. It's like a trophy thing. So the idea is, yes, have that intention, but also, you know, 
when we talk about flow, allow the wisdom of life, not the knowledge, but the wisdom of life to guide you to your destination. You know, it's not on my terms, how I want it. I'm going to plan. I'm going to. Like, 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 for example, in the case of, the, of a physical thing, the, the car, you know, you, you have the number, okay, it costs this much, this amount of money, and you have to decide if you're going to purchase it, you're going to lease it, and then go through all the different things, you know, to get the real number of the cost of having that thing in your life. And then you start splitting it, and you start seeing the steps that you have to, to, to do to perform every single day in your daily routine, they're gonna take you closer to your destination. And each day that you don't follow through on your plan, it's a day behind, you know? Then the next day you have to do two things and the next day three things and the following day four things. And if you go on vacations for a week, well, you're seven days behind. So, so you have way more work to do, you know, and so on and so forth. So. But if you flow with life, if you have that intention, if that is a goal for you and you want to explore the destination as, as, and, and the meaning of that destination into your life and start working on the things that are creating that, uh, you will be able not only to reach whatever it is that you want, but to, to really enjoy it uh, for, for longer periods of time. Because for example, on a physical thing, how many times we all been uh, waiting for this particular thing and we finally will get our hands on it and, and the emotion only lasts, uh, I don't know, a couple of days, maybe a week, uh, if a month, if, if, if that much, you know, and then it goes away and reality kicks in and the responsibilities of having that thing are still here with you, especially if you purchase it on credit or something like that, you know, it, it will be here, you know, haunting you. I was uh, uh, kind of like the new way of channel surfing, which is YouTube, right? You go into YouTube, you start seeing something, and it shows you like a mosaic of hundreds of different things. And uh, there was a post of the most expensive house uh, it was a presentation of the most expensive house sold in Las Vegas, I think, in Henderson. And it was a $28 million home, you know? And they have, they, yeah. I mean, it's, it's massive, it's modern, it's beautiful, you know? And, and uh, they think on everything. But, uh, but as I was... Uh, uh, preparing to go to bed because I usually try to, to if I'm going to watch TV before I go to bed, I try to watch something meaningless, right? Just just something random that is not going to take my psyche into that kind of thing. But but still, you know, how my brain works, I'm watching that thing I and I see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, 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 and I see this, uh, for example, just an example. They have many of these examples, but but this particular example. You know, it's a hidden restroom uh, and, uh, and they have a huge mirror, like 30 feet mirror that goes from the, from the skylight. It's, it's, it comes just in a straight line, no too, too wide, you know, but it comes in an angle. And, and then because they created some sort of like a sculpture in order for you to, to wash your hand, but everything is hidden. You know, you really need to know that it's a laboratory for you to wash your hands there, you know, because if not, you would have figured it out, you know, and everything automatic and, wow. and so on and so forth. But then I start thinking, yeah, it looks very cool, you know, but, but glass get, uh, especially mirrors, they get uh, foggy and dirty very easily. Yeah. How are you going to clean that thing? <laughs> you know, who's going to clean it? It doesn't matter if you have the money to hire a cleaner, you know, how are they going to clean it? Right. You know, and, 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 and I start going through all the different things that they have on the house. And it was like, you know, it's beautiful for a picture. It's beautiful for this, but it's awful to live on, you know, because in reality, they have a lot of situations like this, you know, where they created things that makes no sense. I mean, they, they, if you are living in, in the place, it will be actually very uncomfortable. And, uh, but, but I, but again, it's a very expensive toy and the same thing I see it, uh, when I drive uh, in downtown San Diego and I see a guy pulling out of, uh, 
his Ferrari and, and, and getting out of that thing. Oh my God, <laughs> you know? They're sitting next, I mean, this size like, from the floor, right? So, so, so it's like, what an uncomfortable thing. And then when I'm driving on my car, it's a Prius, of course, you know, and, and, and I am behind uh, an SUV or behind a, a, a pickup truck. I cannot see anything. I can only imagine you are way down there. Yeah. I mean, you literally, you cannot see anything, yeah. you know, and, and it's like, how huh, it kind of like don't make a lot of sense to me, but <laughs> regardless, you know, those are the things that you only experience once you have it, right? Once you reach the destination. So the challenge about not allowing yourself to follow the flow mm -hmm. will take you to that hard crash, will take you to having the gift or the thing that you wanted and then crashing into reality, you know, because, because our mind naturally, uh, because it's here to support us, tend to see the shiny object and dismiss everything that is around that blocks you from the shiny object that you're looking at, you know? And, and it's the work of your mind. So you can go through those things, but it's not a real image, a real perception of the thing uh, in, uh, where, where you are grasping. But when you're going and, and, and when you're flowing with life, life itself is going to start take you to different roads of learning because they also the purpose of life is to learn and experience right so it's going to give you the opportunity to learn and experience all these different options that will help you to heal your path to go through your path and resolve issues that are still pending issues that you need to take care of and then if it's necessary, adjust that shiny vision that you have and modify it and change it and transform it. You know, it's that's that's how it works. Yeah. But like you yeah. have to be very aware in order for you that's, to yeah. allow yourself to go through those periods. If not, everything else is gonna be blind because your mind is like your wish is my command, right? This is what you want, this is what we're going for. And everything else is going to be dismissed, you know, and everyone else. Yeah. And one of the things I always say is like, if you look at it as like a river, right, with a current. So if you're wanting to, for me, it's all about inspired action. Inspired right. action to me is taking action from your intuition, right? Not forced action, right? So exactly. you know, like taking inspired action, it's like going downstream on that river mm -hmm with the yes. flow of the current rather exactly. than forced action where you're like forcing yourself to go upstream, which you're, it's just going to be so much more challenging. Right. And, and, and this is very important. Mm -hmm. This thing that you mentioned is very important because there's a difference between going against the, 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 the flow of, of, of the stream or, or going with the stream, but being afraid of, because remember that if, if it is, if you are trying to create something that you don't have, you, it's because you don't you don't own in your past memories the experience of owning or having that particular thing. You know, it's something that is different and new for you. It's a new experience. So the situation with that is when you are going to 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 a new experience, when you're going to bring a new experience into your life, your brain tends to react against you. You know, it tends to push you back and, and, and it tends to, to, to kind of like uh, give you the opportunity to second guess your decision and say, are you sure? Yep. And we all experience this, like, like, for example, when you learn to drive, uh, when you learn to speak another language, when you learn how to use a computer, when you learn a new skill at school, it's, it's, it's that fear and that anxiety and, 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 and is the overwhelming sensation that this is impossible you know it's it's an impossible task that i am confronted and and, and it's like you start second guessing and it's like am i sure and or not and so on and so forth the thing here is that you have to be able to understand the difference between that and going against the flow yes and going against the, against the flow uh usually it's like, like the way that i put it 
maybe not is not understood by everybody, but I'm still going to share with you guys uh, in hopes that, that you will get it. Is you walk through the doors that are open and you stay away from the doors that are closed. You know, uh, you want to go and 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 force yourself to 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 jump into the river and to start pedaling. You know, going towards the destination that you want. But you, if you start getting pumps, it's like, it's like bumps, it's like, poop. no, it's not this way. Oop, try something else. Oop, it's not this way. No, it's not, it's not this way. You know, it's like you you keep hitting and hitting and hitting yourself. It's because you haven't found the right door. Or maybe it's not the right time for you to have that door because you need something else. Mm -hmm. Think that you need to bring something else to the river, you know, uh, for your journey. So. So it's another skill, another experience, another relationship that you're gonna collect before the doors open for you, you know? And, and instead of getting frustrated, it's like you should be happy about it. And it's complicated. It's not easy. It never is. Right. And I can give you an example. Last week, for example, I, I tried to have like three appointments a day. That's, that's when, when I'm working on, on, on my own. When, when I work at the center, it's different. The, the, the holistic center, they, they have a schedule and I just respect their schedule. But on myself, you know, for me, for me, that's my intention. Yeah. And last week, I aligned most of my work very well. And if I did, I think, two appointments the whole week, it was a lot, you know? Everything get postponed and changed and, 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 and I couldn't find people and that, 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 that. Now, in my case, is this is a river that I'm already riding, right? So, 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 and, and I know, I think that I know the way around, right? But I also need to know that there's times for everything. And, and it was, the way that I took it is that it was time for me to rest and to focus on me. So I start working on myself, mm. you know, instead of working on anybody else. And sure enough, I discover things. And, and then I start working on, on, on blockages, energetic blockages that I have. And, and that is uh, helping me to create something or to start the search for a type of modality that could be very effective to, effective to remove uh, energetic blockages because the way that is designed currently it's not fast enough for me. It's like it's like uh, it takes too many sessions and then it becomes too expensive. You know, it's uh, uh, it's complicated and I haven't figured things out. One of my uh, solutions was, well, I can get an additional equipment and rent it to the people so they can do it on themselves on the other home instead of me doing it for them for hours and hours and hours, you know. And I try it and uh, it didn't work. The, the person gave me back the, the, the equipment and he was like, you know what? I'm not doing it. It's like, oh, shit, yeah. it's not working. Well, this is not a solution. I need to find another solution. But like I said, those are the new things that I need to bring into my boat, into my kayak in order to continue flowing through the river. You know, so this stop, it was a forced stop but it's a stop that is full of gifts, full of opportunities, because my mindset is always searching for the good reason why I'm not getting away with the things that I want in the way that I want. So I'm just going through and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing, putting together and, and working on it and, and, and then trying to figure out things, you know, and, and that's what I do. So this is a great example because if I would have taken the my old self version, I would have been all frustrated, and it was like, "Oh my God, all this work that I'm doing and the meditations were nothing." And blah 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 blah, blaming everybody and focusing on the negative. And now I don't gonna have the excess of money that I wanted, or or whatever it was, you know. So so because that's how we are. Yeah. And and that's that's a luxury that you cannot allow to come into your life you know because because it will set you back not to the beginning but to before the beginning you know and, okay. and uh like, yeah. yeah one of the things i did want to add with the um you know like you were saying when something is unknown and like uncertain and you're like about to go downstream for instance and like i know a lot of people think it's like fear or anxiety or whatever that looks like whereas 
what I work on my clients, like what I work with them on is shifting that and using word replacements, right? Because really all it is is feeling uncomfortable, right? Mm-hmm. And like fear and anxiety, there's such uh, low vibing words and like really what the feeling is, is you're uncomfortable because it's something that you're not familiar with. So you're gonna feel uncomfortable. Whereas fear is actually not even real, right? We know this, there's no such thing. So it's really that uncomfortable feeling where that is where we grow. That's like in the uncomfortable is where we can expand the comfortable, but we have to be conscious, like you were saying, like being very aware, being, sub, you know, being, being, being in the conscious mind rather than subconscious, because that's when we can actually expand ourselves. Right. Right. And, and, and it needs to be uncomfortable, like I said, because it's a new experience. But oh. when you go into anxiety, that's different. For me, when, when you get into anxiety and <sighs> having issue to breathe and, and, and panic and, and totally paralyzing yourself, it's because that event is reminding you of something that you need to work on. You know, you, 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 it's still yeah, energy right. stuck inside of you. Well, and then there's some people that will experience that feeling because they feel, because this is something I, I remember I've learned and I've seen it in people where they expect themselves to be somewhere and they're not there. So they have this criticism yeah. of like, yeah. I should be here and I'm not here. And they start like having some kind of like, you know. People. Yeah, that's 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 very executive thing, you know. It's, it's yeah. like uh, you you have your, your life plan out and... and uh, the right. only the only thing that I can add to that is mm-hmm. that uh, thank God, you know, and and uh, because if you see your health, most of the people they have that kind of vision and planning your life that you learn in school, uh, that uh, that you learn from talks of very very successful people. It's it's uh, they usually have very crappy health. Yeah, because they very very crappy that's, health. That's you what know? I- wanted to talk about is back to the topic right when do you plan and when do you follow intuition and like for me I mean before all that I went through and before learning so much more about energy and really feminine energy right because the way that society has us structured it's like to be structured to be planning and have everything in place right and so yeah I grew up that way I was at one point I had been a project manager I was always the one that planned everything with all my friends right I'm like I'm a planner I, I'm just let's just put it out there I'm a planner and so for me it's like everything is in my calendar so I have my calendar I have lots of colors like it's all like nice and pretty right And one of the biggest things is I plan, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean just because I plan this out in this next week that I have to stick to it. And I think that's when people end up either self-criticizing because if they don't like, for instance, it like they don't get to something they wanted to, or they feel like it's a forced action. And so their health goes out, right? For me, it's in my calendar and I only do it if I feel inspired to, otherwise I change it to another day. Or like if something comes up, then I shift it, but I don't have any, like, I don't give it any meaning, right? I'm not like, I don't give myself like, oh my God, I'm so, I feel so guilty now because I did this or I feel out of whatever the, you know, all that thought process is. But like, it is that planning structure is masculine energy. And at the same time, when you follow your intuition moment by moment, and you actually check in and see, okay, is this something that's going to move me forward towards, you know, my goals or, you know, the intention that I have set and then taking that action, it's going to flow so much more with ease rather than forcing yourself to do it because you said you'd have to do it. Right. And it's like, yes, my calendar runs me, but I'm in charge of my calendar. I say what happens. Right. And, and, and the thing is that, I mean, the thing is understanding your biology, you know, understanding that this is structure that you're, I mean, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and, and uh, we still have a little bit of time. Uh, yeah. the, the thing here is that by our biology takes generations to accept changes inside of us. You know, it's, 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 it's not something that happens in, in, in right away. You know, it takes generations. But 
the way that we are going through life from for, from the since I would say since the sixties that that started with all this revolution uh, uh, when when all the communications start uh, opening up to the masses and people got educated and all that stuff. So since 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 the sixties from from our previous uh, I would say like nineteen yeah probably nineteen sixties to now the changes have been accelerating so much and so fast. I mean, just to give you an example, watch regular TV, regular programming, TV programming with the mute button on and pay attention to how many frames you can see in every commercial, how many different frames and how many different colors you can see in any commercial. And then when you're watching a program, you're gonna see that uh, every time that uh, a person is like, like for example, is walking, you know, is, 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 is going from, from one place to another, instead of having a steady camera, it's like it's, it's, the camera is also jumping, you know? And, and, and it's, it, the, the idea is to catch and grab your attention at all times, to have something moving mm -hmm. in front of you so, so you don't look anywhere else. Right, that's that's the principle. That's the idea behind everything else. Oh, but the challenge cool. with that, the challenge with that is that for our brain and our biology, yes, it's gonna respond to that because it's gonna follow in movement. Because remember, movement for us feels like a threat, right? If you are walking on the woods and you start hearing noises and you start seeing things moving, you, you, actually when you see movies, scary movies or, or, or uh, suspense movies are kind of like that. You know, they, they start playing you sounds and then playing you movement yeah. from somewhere and, and you are all anxious because you, and, and it's fictitious because it's a movie anyway, but, but your reaction, your, your hormones, your, your cortisol, your adrenaline, your body is having a, a, a whole symphony of symptoms, right? And then boom, happens whatever it is it needs to happen. And then boom, happens again. And then boom, happens one more time, you know? And it's like, uh, what's going on here? Okay. Can I just say something about that? I yes. one time watched a, like I used to work at Dish Network. So we were able to like have our own little TV and have whatever we're playing while we tested or like, so I watched the whole scary movie on mute and it wasn't scary at all. I know, yeah. The sound, the, 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 it's the sound, absolutely. It's like suspenseful mm -hmm. and it's the vibration yeah. of the too, right? Yeah. I just, I but, 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 but the thing is that, I mean, the thing is that it, it, it really grabs you, you know? But the problem is not creating a stress because that all we have to do is just open our eyes and then we are able to create stress, you know, right, right, right now in front of my desk, I have my trading computer. And, and so as soon as I see my trading computer, my brain immediately goes to trading, right? And, 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 and trading, it's equal to stress, right? So, so it's, it's because I do got to be careful and attentive and, and all that stuff. And if I see my other computer here uh, for my desktop is, is, is work, you know? So it's all the things that I have to do that I haven't done, right? And if I see my iPad is the book that I'm writing that I haven't finished, you know? It's like our brain have a connection with everything single thing around us that's why when we meditate by the way we have a meditation tonight okay. when we meditate we do it with our eyes closed to pretty much being able to disconnect from all this stimulus mm -hmm. you know to 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 allow ourselves to go away from all this now the challenge is that when you are creating all those very busy calendars and all the stats and all the things that you have to do you are creating that sense of anxiety because you are not accomplishing things because time is clicking because you are not, and all the stories that you play in your mind. But the challenge is not that. The challenge is to go back to homeostasis, you know, to to do a relaxed mode where where everything is working properly inside of your body, and that, my friends, is the secret, and that is the challenge. 
because that is the secret that will allow you to feel love for your partner, you know, because if you are not on survival, if you are not under stress, you are free to love, mm -hmm. you know, who ha has time to love when, when you are fighting for your life, you know, when, when you are scared, you, you don't have time, you know, who has time for romance when, when, when you are feeling threatened, you know, who, who have time to, to, to kiss your significant other and hug and, and, and tell them how much you love them when you're seeing in the news all the things that are happening across across the, the globe, you know, and, 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 and people dying, children starving, and all those awful things that are happening, right? And it is like that always, you know? So, so the thing here is that you got to be able to, to pretty much disconnect from life, reconnect with yourself, because the things that are happening in life, we, we talk about this in our past meditation and, 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 and just a thought that came to me that I, I couldn't express at that time because of lack of time, but, uh, but it's very important. The people that are suffering now are creating balance for ourselves, the people that are not suffering, right? So suffering with them, it's kind of like an insult to them. You know, because if they are creating the balance for us to try and to be relaxed and to, 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 to do the things that we have to do in order for us to transform the world, the entire world, uh, and we are not doing it, it's like they're suffering for nothing, right? It's like they're paying a price for nothing. It's, it's, it's just a waste. And I know that makes no sense and it looks like I have no empathy. And believe me, I'm an empath, so I know what empathy means. <laughs> But, but that's how life works, you know? That's how nature works. Something needs to suffer in order for something else to thrive. Something needs to die in, in order to create life for something else. And, it, and it's complicated and it's difficult, but that's how it is. So- like the pendulum is how, when you say that, I see it as the pendulum. Yes, yes, there's always, because this is a life, third dimension is all about balance, you know? Day, night, good, bad, like it or not, you know? Harmony, it's healthy. So it's, it's always like that. But the thing here is that uh, in order for you to learn and appreciate and to really feel and transform your life and understand the messages that nature through the, your life experiences is sending you, you need to be in a relaxed state. You need to detach yourself from the outcome because if you only focus on the outcome, frustration it's to come because you're not getting away with the things that you want in the way that you want you know so you have to be able to disconnect yourself and go into your own self and think it over and start doing the thing that you have to do for yourself you know and and that is what's gonna help you to create the change yeah. but uh, it's challenging it's difficult uh, because like i said we are surrounded by stimulus. We are surrounded by triggers that have attachments. And, uh, and each one of those things are going to create a complication for us in our life. You know, so, so, so. Uh, and then one of the things too is don't, of course, don't, this doesn't mean go suppress your feelings by any means, right? So it's like, if you are getting triggered, if you are feeling something, right, frustrations or whatnot, Feel the feelings, but don't stay. Yeah. There. Don't stay there. Right. But 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 that don't give you permission to affect someone else's life. Right. You yeah. know, if if you have frustration against that other person, you don't have the right in order for you to feel that feeling, you don't have the right to go and attack them. You have the right to go into your bedroom to put the image of that person into the pillow and then take all that rage and all that frustration against that person <laughs> into the pillow and then finish the process because it's always a beginning and an end that's the beginning right well actually the beginning was the situation that created the trigger but this is part of the solution you know releasing all that energy from inside of you and then forgiveness you know and close with gratitude gratitude be thankful for living that experience and and those are the things that can create a, a significant uh how, how can I say it? Like push you, propels you forward the most, 
you know when you when you don't left uh, uh it's it's like don't live in uh, uh open bills or, or invoices left you know it's, it's like you just close them close and close and close and close and close and close everything that you have you don't carry it with you because it's, it's a drive that is going to hold you you know it's, it's like you're releasing it you're moving on you free them and, and you continue okay so so that it's that it's very important guys yes I, I, I always uh, uh, go back to the meditation and, and, and it's because that is the only process that I'm aware of so far that it helps you to become that aware of the things that you need to do, you know, internal. And I'm not talking about tasks. I'm talking about internally, the things that are haunting you or that are creating problems for you. You know, you have to be able to go inside of you, close your eyes and allow you to feel where is it, that, excuse me, that you have stock energy to move it. Yes. I, yeah. And, you know, tonight, of course, like every Monday, it's at seven o'clock Pacific time and we do it weekly and they're always profound. It's not just meditation, by the way. It's much deeper than that. It's deep meditation, but there's also aura cleansing, chakra balance, rebalancing, and really releasing any negative energies that you've taken on throughout the day. So it's really, really profound and you will definitely enjoy the experience. So I will be posting a link um, for you if you are interested in joining to make a payment to Jacob. It's only $20. And I know September is coming up. So for anyone that wants to come on every single week, right? Within September, we offer a discount of $50 for the entire month. So it's really a really great deal. And once you do send the payment, then I send you the link to join us. And that's the beauty of it, right? It's online. That is one thing I'm very actually uh, grateful for the whole lockdown pandemic because I feel like we're able to reach more people doing online sessions and meditations and whatnot. So yeah, All right. thank you everyone for joining. Again, set your intentions. Yes, you can make plans, but don't criticize yourself when you can't, when you feel like you're forced to take the action. Come from your intuition, even though you've set a plan, come from your intuition and make sure you're taking those inspired actions. That's really where I see it from, right? getting connected with your inner self and going from there. Always guys, always, always, always. All right. Take care. Thank you very much for joining us today. And we yeah. hope to see you at our meditation. Yes. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.